Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today let's solve a hard question from Lico Weekly Contest, the minimum initial energy to finish task. The question statement, so we are given an array uh, task where each element in the array is an array of two elements, actual and minimum. And actual is the actual amount of energy we have to spend to finish this task. And minimum is the minimum amount of energy we require to begin this task. So if the current task is an array of 10, 12, and the current energy we have is 11, we are not able to start this task because 11 is smaller than minimum 12. However, if our current energy is 13, then we are able to complete this task and we will have uh, 13 minus 10, which is three left. And we can finish the task in on any order. And we have to return the minimum initial amount of energy we will need to finish all the tasks. For example one, the minimum initial energy we need is eight. And we will finish the task uh, starting from the third task, and then the second and the first. And at the end, we will have one energy left. And for example two, the minimum initial energy is 32. And we will finish the task in the array order, which is one, two, three, four, five. And at the end, it's also one energy left. And a data constraint, the length of an array can go up to 10 to the power of five. So we have to figure out a solution with time complexity between big O of n to big O of n squared. Okay, and a key intuition to solve this question is to find the pattern. So let's think it through. So for every task, uh, which I denote as cost and minimum, we need minimum to start this task, but only cost to finish it. So that means that uh, after this task, we will leave uh, minimum minus cost for the next and following task. So for the next task, task two, if we don't have enough energy to start this task, then we need to add a uh, minimum two minus saved in order to start this task. And the goal is to minimize initial energy so we can maximize a uh, save at the beginning, which will leave extra energy for a later task to use. And that will lead to the greedy algorithm. And what greedy means is that for the task array, we can reverse sort the array by minimum minus cost to have a task with higher safe energy at the front. So we can have more safe energy at the beginning, which will leave extra energy for later tasks to use. Now let's look at the code. Okay, the code is pretty short and clean. First, reverse sort the task array by the difference between actual and minimum. And rest is the output. And current is how much energy we have at every index in the array. So look through the task array. If minimum is bigger than current, which means that we don't have enough energy, then we will add the difference between minimum and current into rest and then set current to minimum. And at the end, we will subtract actual from current. And finally, it's to return rest. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at uh, example one. And remember, every task in the task array is uh, actual and minimum. So first thing is to reverse sort the task array by the difference between actual and minimum. So 4, 8 will be pushed to the front. And at the beginning, current and rest are both zero. So minimum is bigger than current. So current and rest will become eight. And to finish the first task, we'll need a cost of four. So we'll subtract four from current. So current will become four. And the next task, the minimum required energy is four. And currently we have four energy. 
so it's enough to start this task. And the actual cost is two. So current will become four minus two, which is two. And rest won't be updated. And the final task, the minimum energy is two, and we still have enough energy. And the actual cost is one, so current will become one. So at the end, rest is eight. So this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the key intuition to solve this problem is to find a pattern, and that will lead to the greedy algorithm. And how greedy works is to reverse sort the array by minimum minus cost to have more energy, uh, save energy at the beginning. That can be used for later tasks. And the time complexity is uh, log linear because we have to perform sorting at the beginning and space complexity is constant. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.